I'm about to give you the secret code that will make it look like a designer created your website. And the best part is, there's only three steps. Hi, I'm Stephanie from Thrive Themes and in today's website review, I'm going to show you how you can give your website a complete makeover in less than an afternoon. How? By creating your website's secret design code. The secret code is made up of three values that you need to define for your site. By simply sticking to those values, you can turn your site from mismatched and awkward to modern, sleek and well designed. Now to show you the design code in action, we're going to use it for today's website review site, Home Circle Pro. As you can see, the website is doing everything right. Their only downfall is design. So what are the three values that make up a design code? Choosing and sticking to a color palette, content widths, and a singular font. Now I agree that sounds pretty basic, but let's take a look at the difference it makes on Home Circle Pro. So this is the original site and this is the remake. All I've changed on this site is those three values that I mentioned earlier, sticking to a color palette, sticking to a font, and sticking to two column widths. I'll show you them side by side so you get a better picture. And you can see the one on the right just looks infinitely more professional and there's nothing you can really put your finger on but it just looks cleaner and more modern. Now I'm going to take you through how you can create a secret design code for your own website. And we'll also include a quick worksheet below this video so you can easily create one for yourself. Now we'll start off with step one, the color palette. Your color palette should be made up of just one or two key colors. Now a key color is any color that isn't a shade of black or white. So these are going to be the signature colors on your site and you don't want more than two because it just creates a mismatch kind of look which you can see very clearly on the original Home Circle Pro site. The rest of your color palette should be made up of shades of black and white. You can have up to four of these and they're great for using for background colors and text colors. Here is the color palette that we used for the remake of Home Circle Pro. Now how did we get these colors? I'm going to show you two tools that will help you create your own site's color palette. Now, if you already have a logo, it's great to use the color, one of the key colors from your logo. So to create this color palette, we actually use the green from the Home Circle Pro logo. So I got the color code for that green and put it into a tool called Paletin. Paletin generates color palettes. So you just need to put the color code for your main key color in here, click OK and it will generate a series of complementing colors for that one key color. From this, I chose the second key color for Home Circle Pro's color palette, which was this turquoise here. So you just need to click on the color and it will let you select the color code. As for the shades of nearly black and nearly white, you can use Paletin for that. So by dragging any of these pickers a little bit further down into the darker areas, and then you can grab the color codes of the darker versions of those key colors. Or you really can just choose a couple of colors that are nearly black and nearly white that you like. Just make note of those color codes and make sure you use the exact color codes throughout the site. second value you need to define for your secret design code is your content widths. Now you need two of these and this determines how far across your content goes on your page. Now this one is the hardest to spot and no one's ever going to pick up that that's why that site looks good but it is one of those silent design principles that just makes the site look clean and professional. Now to kind of show you the difference, I'm going to go back to the side by side of the remake of Home Circle Pro. And you can just see on the left here, it's all just a big uniform block of content. There's no differentiation between sections in terms of the width. Whereas if we take a look at the remake, you can see there's a really nice di differentiation here where it goes further out and then draws back in 
further out and draws back in again. Now this is a really subtle difference but it completely changes the look of the site. So you need to define your two content widths. We've gone with 960 and 110 that's usually a really good mix because you can kind of see the differentiation but it's not ridiculously obvious. Now the third and final value that you need to define for your design code is the font. You need to just choose one main font for your website. You can choose a secondary font that you use for button colors and unimportant text, but try to stick to just the one font that you've defined. Let's go back to Home Circle Pro and see what they were doing with their fonts. I've used a tool called What Font, which is a Chrome plugin and you can click it on any website and it will tell you what font they're using. So you can see here that they're using Arial at the top here, they're using Lato and Open Sans. So that's at least three fonts in just this little section. Now, let's be honest, you can't actually tell that there are three different fonts there with the plain eye, but it just adds to that look of mismatched thrown togetherness. Using one font ties the entire site together and creates a really nice feel throughout the page. So let's go back to our remake and we've just used a single font which was Source Sans Pro throughout the entire page. So for the final step of your secret design code, choose one main font and one secondary font for your page and stick to only those two fonts. And that really is all you need to completely make over your website. Make sure you get the template below to create your website's own secret design code. Let us know how you go in the comments below.